In the strange world of Formula 1, some teams have had such awful seasons that you have to wonder how a team could fuck it up as badly as they did. There was Life Racing's 1990 season where in 14 attempts they never qualified. There was MasterCard Lola who crashed and burned one race into the 1997 F1 season. But of most teams to have the worst seasons in motorsports history, none have ever been as catastrophically awful as this. This is the story of BAR's miserable 1999 F1 season. After Tyrrell's long downward spiral came to an end in 1998, British American Tobacco had purchased the team and rebranded it to BAR, British American Racing. The team would run Simtech engines and would feature 1997 world champion Jacques Villeneuve and rookie Ricardo Zonta as the team's drivers. Certainly a contrasting driver lineup, but from a literal aspect, the paint scheme was even more divisive. In a massive stroke of ego, or a blight of incompetence, the team would reveal two different paint schemes promoting the Lucky Strike and Triple Five brands respectively. However, the FIA told them that they are either fucking mind and force the team to change it. Undeterred, the team decided that they are going to run two liveries, whether they liked it or not. So as a result, this foul, abominable creature was born. I do not know the person that signed off on this, but whoever did deserves to be disemboweled with a wooden cooking spoon. The team was run by Villeneuve's manager, Craig Pollock, and ran the slogan, A Tradition of of excellence in their first year of Formula 1. Yeah, well this slogan came back to bite him in the ass, and unfortunately it seemed like the team got rabies from the bite because the season itself would be total carnage. The F1 cars of the times had reliability issues, but BIR would take that to the next level in 1999. The car wasn't that bad pace-wise in preseason testing, but the car was about as reliable as a fishnet parachute. Once the start of the season came by, the car's issues were highlighted. Australia would be a miserable first outing, with Jack suffering a suspension failure and Zonta suffering a hydraulics failure. Quite ironic considering the team's technical director, Adrian Renard, was quoted before the season saying that the team would dominate the first race. Brazil would compound the depressing atmosphere in the team. Villeneuve would qualify for the race in 16th, but was found to be using illegal fuel and was dropped back to 21st. This was bad enough, but as Villeneuve would qualify, Zonta would sustain a foot injury in qualifying and was out of the car for the next three races. The race would add to the team's misery as Villeneuve would retire for the second week in a row. Mika Sala would step in to replace the injured Zonta, but this did nothing to improve the team's chances. Despite Villeneuve's amazing qualifying showing where he qualified fifth, his car won't even make it off the line as his car lost a will to live on the grid. Sala would be classified in the results as his car made 90% of the race. Sure, the car's electronics crapped out with four laps to go, but his team was classified with a seventh place finish. This would be BIR's best finish of the year. One spot out of the points coming from a driver that's just a replacement in a race they didn't actually finish. Yikes. Monaco would be just as horse shit when another good qualifying was ruined when Villeneuve had an oil leak and Salo had a brake failure into the hairpin. Spain showed some promise for Villeneuve after he qualified 6th. This optimism died when a gearbox failure on lap 40 ended a valiant effort for the Canadian. Mika Salo would try polishing a turd of a race, finishing 8th, but the stats speak for themselves. In 5 races so far, Villeneuve hasn't made past lap 50. Villeneuve hasn't made 50 laps into a Grand Prix yet, Zonta has a broken foot after starting only one race, and Mika Salo has gotten the team's best finish of the year despite not even completing that race. Zonta's comeback to Grand Prix racing would end in just two laps, as his teammate Villeneuve's race won't end any better. At this point, even I'm getting bored of this constant cycle of despair, so I'm just going to run through the next five races really quickly. Villeneuve would DNF from all of them, making it 11 DNFs in a row to start the season, while Zonta would only finish in France and Hungary. Despite all the shit that the team's been through this year, Spa would probably be the dumbest moment of the season by a wide margin. Cardo Zonta, Jacques Villeneuve, and Craig Pollock had a bet on who could take Eau Rouge flat out first. Now, for those who look at modern F1 and see how easy it is now, this was 22 years ago and was done in the equivalent of a pre-2019 spec Delara F3 car. You might have guessed this by now, but this didn't end well when both had catastrophic
catastrophic accidents at the top of the hill. This would actually be a turning point, however, as despite the embarrassment of the practice crashes, Villeneuve would finally finish. Albeit in 15th a lap down, but still he would finish. Monza would see Villeneuve's best finish of 8th, but at this point it's too little too late. By the time the season ended in Japan, the team had a combined 23 DNFs and a total of 0 points. This year was so unbelievably awful that the team weren't even classified in the Drivers and Constructors Championships. The team would be around until 2005 when Honda bought them out and ran the team until 2008. Ross Braun then purchased the team in early 2009 for one British pound and the team went on to win the Drivers and Constructors Championship with Jetson Bunn and Rubens Barrichello. The team then became Mercedes AMG Patronus and the team has won seven championships as of the making of this video in September of 2021. Jacques Villeneuve stayed with the team until late 2003 where he then faded into obscurity. Ricardo Zonta on the other hand was never given a fair shot in F1 and he then moved to GT Racing and Brazilian Stock Cars where he rests to this day. Mika Sala would return to the 1999 F1 season in Austria as a replacement for Michael Schumacher at Ferrari until the German recovered from a broken leg. BIR's 1999 F1 season will go down in history as one of the worst in Formula 1 history, but after a few name changes and 22 years, the team is one of the best in the sport and is currently in a dogfight for their 8th championship in a row.